Hello everyone, you're looking to form your first Necromech and that is gonna be Void Rig. So, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to form all the blueprints, all the ports, all the resources, everything needed to get your first Necromech up and running. There have been many updates to the game and many different changes, so that means that even forming Necromex has become easier over the years. So let's start off with the first and the most important thing. If you do have a resource chance booster and a resource double booster, it's going to be amazing, not necessarily needed, but to get the first port and the blueprints themselves, you need to complete the Heart of Day most quest. You unlock this by completing the Marsh Junction on Earth, and by completing the quest, you're going to get some other rewards and the Voidrig blueprint along aside his other crafting ports. So, what we really need here is the damaged necromech ports. These we can get in two different ways. First of all, you can go into the necrolisk, talk to mother, do bounties, gain mother tokens, exchange them with grandma and she's gonna give you standing. Then you go to father, you talk to him and then you can purchase the damaged necromech ports here. What you can also do and what I highly recommend you do is isolation vaults. If you go back to mother skedaddle skedoodle and you will see there is one mission at the bottom right and it's gonna be an isolation vault tier 1. By playing the tier 1 vault you unlock tier 2 and then by completing tier 2 you unlock tier 3. The main difference is that there are more necromechs at the end of the mission or I guess in quotations at the end of the mission. Here you're gonna be able to form even more ports or higher chances giving uh, more ports for your necromech and you will also be able to form up orican matrixes. Now there's different varieties depending on the tier of bounty that you do but these are basically exchanged for standing with Lloyd which is going to be quite good as well because you can get necromech mods from him, I'll show that a little bit later. But how does this mention function? First of all, the warframes that I would recommend. If you have Volt, Ember, Rhino, Gauss, Protea, uh, Excalibur even, any Warframe that is sort of mobile, good at defense and killing enemies, you are pretty much done and dusted. Oh hello there, Editing Gaming Weasel here, just wanted to mention Volt is actually a really really good option, just because he's a really great Warframe in general, he can do everything that you need for this mission, this is the build that I recommend you try out, if you have the upgraded mods, use them, and he is also good because he can speed up the mission and also the travel time of Lloyd when he goes between the things that he has to charge up at the end of the vault, but you're gonna find out what that is in a little bit. Now, back to the video. So, you have started your isolation vault. You have to go to this seed collecting thing and on the map, you go there and then it's gonna tell you to go collect six for uh, fast or vom residue, you pick that up, go back to that seeding thing and then you defend it for 1 minute and 30. So once you have done that, you defended it, you will pick it up and you go down the little tunnel, little cave, you throw it through the mouth, pass through and then go to a lower level of demos. Here enemies are gonna spawn but this is basically another defense mission where when you complete it you go even further down below into demos and here's where we come across the necromex. So depending on how many you have, you basically get rid of them, kill them, you're gonna get the matrixes, which are gonna be pretty cool, the damaged necromech parts, which are gonna help out as well. Now, destroy anything you possibly see, especially these casings, because they're gonna reward you with the resources that you're gonna need for the necromech and even more demos crafting, so basically, any container that you see, destroy it. Just destroy it and collect every single piece of loot that you possibly can. Now, once you've done with the Necromex, the mission should be possibly done, but no. You have a secret little vault door that you can find, and there, when you go into your operator form, shoot this little thing in the middle, and Lloyd will spawn. He will go to four different spots, he will charge them up, you defend them in the meantime, and then he will go back to the door, show you a sequence of uh, symbols that you have to make in that correct order. Once you do, the doors open up, and you have loot. You have a lot of loot. So. You have loot up front, and then when you go back a little bit on the left and the right side, you also have some loot that's gonna help you out. That is mostly Lucent uh, Tarot Globes. These are gonna be uh, quite needed for your Necromech as well. So. We have talked about everything, that is how the isolation vault is done, and that is basically how you actually form the necromech himself. You can do this mission a couple of times, gain a little bit of standing because you do gain a little bit of mother tokens from these missions, and then just buy the parts that you need. Now, 
If you're missing resources, there are a couple of resources that you gain through the normal gameplay. We have Orican cells, you can farm these on Saturn, and we have Morphix, farm these on Mars. But we have other resources that are gonna be mining related, and then we have to go to OTAC. Here, you're gonna purchase blueprints for Admiral Alloy, you're gonna purchase a faceted TM Trite, I'm very bad at pronouncing these names, a tempered Bacholite, and then what else do we need? Purified Hecuron and then Purge Dragonic. Hopefully they're all on the screen, you saw what they look like and you got all of them. Basically my recommendation is get all of these single blueprints from OTAC, it's gonna be the easiest way. Now what is gonna be the best way of farming these resources and the fishing ones? First of all let's start off with the fishing ones because they are pretty easy to get. Basically do the isolation runs. Here you will get random demos resources and random just either fishing or mining, do this a couple of times and you're pretty much set to have everything, but once you collected the fishing ones, because the fishing ones are quite specific, so I'm not gonna really go too depth into it, but I usually just farm them up by doing isolation vaults. The mining though, I do recommend you do actually go and mine in Deimos. Uh, this right here up on the screen is my personal favorite cave to go to, this is the first one that is on the map, and you can go there, do this, it's gonna last you like one to two minutes, maybe with a laser that you have equipped in your gear wheel, and then basically what you're gonna do is mine out all the little nodes and then exit out of the mission. In around 5 missions of isolation vaults and let's say 5 minutes of resource mining, you will be able to get your first necromech and you're gonna be set up. Now weapons and everything that is a whole completely different story but hopefully getting your first necromech was made easy by watching this video, I hope it did. Do leave a comment in the comment section down below if I missed something, hopefully I didn't and if you guys enjoyed the video do leave a like and a subscribe, I try to make the best content possible and I love every single one of you guys. This has been the Gaming Weasel, over and out.